it's Sonya Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my vlog. Thanks for being here. So on my last vlog, we worked to get up the old nasty carpet. Oh my goodness, didn't it look so awesome? I'll link it below if you missed that vlog. So at the end of that hallway where we just ripped up all the carpet, take a look at the door at the very end that points at the very far end. Yeah, it's this one right here, just to kind of give you an idea of where we are right now in the house. Right behind me, this is a little porch area, so you come up the stairs and step in. This is actually the front facing door that you'd see when you come up my stairs here on the side of my home, and I think it needs some love. You can see right now from this view that I'm giving you through the camera that the back has not been touched, but somebody did paint the front of it already, okay? So there's the back. We can see how beautiful she is, just this big ginormous solid solid wood door absolutely ornate beautiful kind of like medieval Harry Potter-ish I love it all right I'll flip the camera around so you can get a really good view in just a second but today this is going to be our project I'm actually gonna go go with the distressed door as is I think we can still just do some really simple things to it to make it beautiful and play in with the just the wear and tear that it's naturally gotten over the years, right? Look, there's a nail here waiting for a wreath that we'll eventually put on it. I love these iron pieces that are on the door. Look at the handle right here. So we're not gonna do anything with that, you know? Maybe if anything, just shine it up. So friends, I have to tell you something really neat about this old home that we bought from 1890. Um, the Actually, the previous owner sent us, you may have seen me open this box up live, on our Facebook channel, Box of Keys, and look, I mean, all the, the knobs and the doors in here are old, and they all have like glass knobs and skeleton key doors, and she sent me this beautiful letter, and I just wanna read one part of it to you. Because she's talking about this ginormous door that we're gonna work on today. So she says, and she writes to us, the Box of Keys was also given to us upon purchase. I look forward to figuring out where they all went, but as you know, I never had the chance. I'm sure you will enjoy the adventure. The front door only has one key. We tried to get another key cut, but we were unable to due to the age of the key. So yeah, that door is pretty darn old, and we figure that it's even older than the house itself. We have no idea where it came from um, before it was put into this house, but it definitely was from a very, um, amazing home or place or manner or I don't know we got to do some more research on it we did reconnect as well with somebody else who owned this house before we did hello it's 1890s it's had lots of owners right but we did connect with him uh, over this last week and he said that he paid somebody to do history of the home and he's going to dig it out and send it over so I cannot wait to see what somebody dug up on this place who knows what we'll find out so stay tuned and when I find it out I'll share it with you guys too so that's why I'm gonna be very gentle on this door today. I'm gonna to break out our Monkey Shine, which is our all natural beeswax oil finish. And I'm like, I'm looking at that door right now. It, it is so hungry and thirsty. It just needs nourished. This is the kind of product that you would use when you wanna feed like wood that's really just tired and just needs some love. We're gonna grab our wax brush and we are going to go to town and it's going to do a beautiful you're going to see the wood just really just like pop back to life and the nice thing is it's going to form a nice resist and protect that door See, I couldn't even see that grain like that before. You see how it's all dulled out right there, but yet you can see what looks like a tiger stripe. So Matt tells me this is an oak door. I 
what we're doing right now is buffing off the monkey shine. I'm going in circles and I'm using a nice tightly woven cloth to take it off. So basically everything has a, had a chance to suck in and now we buff it off. So it's gonna feel nice and dry and just buttery smooth. So we gotta go all over this door. I'm also gonna buff a little bit of the hardware as well and clean it up just very, very lightly. To reveal here is what a little monkey shine and a little elbow grease and a little time in your day can do to a piece that you too might have that it just needs some TLC just needs some love and, and just needs to be cared for da -da -da. and I give you the new and improved front entranceway door I love how you can see like all the interesting markings of the wood the oak wood below it yes it's definitely shows where the use and the years have been but I think it's beautiful Now it's time to go out and have some fun and find a wreath to put on this. I have something in mind. I will know it when I see it, but it's definitely going to be green and lush and very minimalist. Yay! One more project in the books! And Matt, do you like it? It's fantabulous. It's fantabulous. It is fantabulous, right? And we are done! Yay! Okay, now to find something else to monkey shine in this house. And I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's lots. Join me tomorrow for another daily vlog. We'll get into something or another. Who knows what we'll get into, but I got tons of projects and I'm glad you guys are along on the journey with me. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Is that a good transformation, an easy transformation? And have you subscribed to my daily vlog yet? Have you? Will you do so? I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.